Hello, and welcome to Investigation Video Editor. This video will demonstrate how to work within the Investigation Video Editor Subscription Manager portal. It will explain how to conveniently send a key to a teammate for activation and how to deactivate a key within the portal. Upon logging into the portal, you will be presented with the home screen. The home screen describes how the IVE subscription works. In detail, it outlines how once a version of IVE has been activated with a subscription key, the software will perform random checks to verify if the key is still valid in the portal. If the key is no longer valid and a check is performed, upon startup of the software, a window will open informing a user. The user will get to use IVE that one time, however, if the next time they open the software and the key is not verified, their version will resort back to trial mode. On the Manage Keys page. On this page, you will see a list of the keys that you have access to and the key's current status. From this page, you can assign keys to users and check when they are successfully activated. As an administrator, you can also deactivate the keys from this page and assign them again. At the bottom of the Manage Keys page, there are detailed instructions on how to perform all of the tasks that I have just mentioned. What I am going to demonstrate to you is, as an administrator, how to easily assign a key to a team member. While on the Manage Keys page, there is a paragraph outlined with a darker gray background. This paragraph has the link to the IBE website where the software can be downloaded and instructions on how to enter the key for activation. So all an administrator has to do is copy this paragraph paste it into an email, copy the key they wish to send to a user, and paste the key into the email as well. They can then send that email off to the user. At this time, the administrator should type the name of the individual the key has been sent to. This personal name will make it easy to find in the list should you need to deactivate it at a later time. On the user's side, after they have downloaded Run and installed the software, upon opening it, they will be presented with an activation window. They are to copy the key from the email, and paste it into this window for accuracy. They are also to put the cursor to the right of the characters, and hit the delete button a few times to ensure that no blank spaces are present. When the key is entered correctly, they are to hit the activate button, and wait for a message in the top right hand of the screen confirming a successful activation. They are now good to go with the full version activated on this computer. Back in the portal, the administrator can refresh the page and see that the key that was given to the user was successfully registered and the status has now changed to activated. The administrator can continue to do this for all of the keys in the account. For deactivation, all an administrator has to do is find the correct key in the list and at the far right of the keys information line under action, hit deactivate. A security check will appear and the administrator will have to type deactivate to ensure this decision is correct 
and hit OK. Key is now deactivated. And when the random check is performed on the user's computer, they will be informed that their version of the software has not been verified and will resort back to trial mode. To reassign this key, the administrator first has to hit the reset button. And once that is done, the key can be used immediately by another user. They do not have to wait for the random check to be performed on the previous user's computer. Once a key is back to pending status, it can be assigned and used right away to activate the software on another computer. If a user has tried multiple times with a key and the software will not activate, the administrator should check the status of the key in the portal. Sometimes it will register in the portal and change to an activated status. However, will have failed to activate the software on the user's computer successfully. If this happens, the administrator should just deactivate and then reset the key back to the pending status. The user can then try again to use the key to activate the software. If at any time you need assistance, please reach out to us at team at investigationve.com and support through an email or phone call will be initiated. I hope this helps you with use within the Investigation Video Editor Subscription Manager. Have an excellent surveillance day.